that the world through him might be saved. Amen. We're going to speak on the subject today. It's time to come back. We're going right along with the theme. It's time to come back. It's time to come back. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. It's time to come back. Come on, y'all get that in your spirit. It's time to come back. Come on, tell yourself it's time for it to come back. Amen. Amen. Here in the scripture, Jesus was talking to Nicodemus, and he was trying to explain to him by being born again and coming into the kingdom of God, but Nicodemus couldn't get it. He was trying to break it down through parables and teachings to try to get him to understand what he was saying. Amen. But this is the day where we celebrate and we recognize the death, the burial, and most importantly, the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. In this scripture, it starts off verse 16, and it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. This brings me to my first point. Love is what love does. Come on, come on. Love is what love does. Amen. You can't say you don't love me. You can't say you love me. You don't do things for me. Amen. And agape is the highest form of love, and that's the Greek, agape. And agape is a godly love. Amen. And that godly love comes from heaven, like the cross. It starts horizontal, then goes vertical. It starts with God to man, and it stretches out. Amen? That's a gap. That's the highest form of love. And that's what God showed for us on the cross when he sent his son. Now, I love y'all. I love y'all. But I'm not sitting in Carmelo to die for none of y'all. Amen? Can we be honest? But this is the love of the Father that he sent himself man for him. Jesus was the second Adam to come down. For our sins. That we deserved hell. But he gave us heaven. How many of you are glad that God doesn't give you what you deserve? Oh, y'all quiet this morning. I said, y'all ain't been too good y'all whole lives. Some of y'all sinned just this morning. Some of y'all just this morning before you got here. Some of y'all sinned now. But look, look how much God loves you and the scripture says it. While we were yet... Sinners, Christ died for us. While we were yet in the clubs, come on, while we were yet vaping, while we were yet hitting the Zaza, come on, while we were yet buying them grams, come on, while we were yet sleeping around, uh huh, while we were yet doing it, Christ hung, bled, and died on the cross for your sins, and without the blood. There will be no remission of sins. He was the ultimate sacrifice. Hallelujah. That we didn't have to kill no more goats and lambs. He was the ultimate lamb of God. That God had you on his mind so much that he sent his to die for your sins. Amen. How many of y'all never did anything wrong? If you never did anything wrong, you can just raise your hand and you can stand up. And we'll give you. <laughs> we got some lying demons up in here. Come on. Because watch this. Ain't nobody even got to teach you to do wrong. Watch this. I learned how to lie on my own. I, I ain't need no guidebook. I ain't need no instruction manual. Ain't nobody have to tell me how to do it. I learned how to lie on my own. I just told lies. It's natural. Amen? Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And it said Jesus died for the whole world. Did y'all catch that? Not just, not just the church folk. Uh, I know you thought y'all had it all together with your three-piece suit on, with your, your gator shoes. Riding up, and I know you thought you was the only one with Jesus on your ringtone, on your answer machine. How you doing? Blessed, highly favored, always walking in promises of the Lord. I know you thought he had it all going on, but he died for you as well as the sinners. Because the scripture said the whole world. He died for the whole world. Whether you got braids, whether you got tattoos, whether you got earrings. 
God died for you. He had you on his mind. Man. And Jesus didn't want to. He had a moment before he was finna go to the cross in the garden of Gethsemane. He had a moment. And in that moment, he was weak. He got in his flesh. And he saw what was going to happen to him. And the scripture says, he said, Father, if thou will, and let this cup pass from me. Meaning he didn't want to do his flesh. He was still our man. He was our God at the same time. But he didn't want to do his flesh. Saw what was going to happen. But when he saw himself, he said, but if it be thy will, let this cup, let this cup pass from me. Amen. Amen. That brings me to my next point. Jesus drunk of that cup so yours could overflow. Je- Jesus drunk that cup so yours could overflow. So I'm talking to some people who've been going through some things. You've been going through some things that you nobody knew nothing about. You kept it to yourself. People will say, how you doing? And you'll just say, all right, you'll put on your smile. You'll put on your face. But let me tell you something this morning. Jesus showed up. He drunk of that cup just for you. For your cup to overflow. And I'm getting ready for overflow this morning. Come on, tell yourself. Don't tell your neighbor. Say, I'm getting ready for overflow. Come on, y'all. Y'all say it like you mean it. Come on now. I say, I'm getting ready. To overflow. I'm ready for overflow blessings. Overflow miracles. Overflow miracles. Overflow signs. Overflow signs. Overflow miracles. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. Y'all ain't receiving this this morning. I ain't coming to a a traditional word. I say I'm getting ready for overflow. Say if it's up there, it's stuck there. I say if it's up there, it's stuck there. I'm blessed coming in. I'm blessed going out. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the fields. I'm blessed in Walmart. I'm blessed in community. I'm blessed at Austin. I'm blessed at my house. I'm blessed in my car. I'm blessed like I said I'm blessed. You better open up your mouth. You better open up your mouth and say I'm blessed like that. Open up your mouth and say favor ain't felt. Favor ain't felt. You want to open up your mouth? Come on. Come on, faith ain't foul. Come on, open up your mouth. Say, for every tear I had to cry, for every lonely night I had to spend, that my cup is getting ready to overflow. Open up your mouth and say it's time to toast. Hold your glasses in the air. You toast when you celebrate. Hold them up. I said, I'm getting ready. But every lie they told. For every tear I had to cry. For all the misunderstood times, nobody didn't know what was going on with me. For every time I wanted to quit. For every time they lied on me. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready for overflow. Every time I went to the doctor and got a bad report. I'm getting ready for overflow. I feel like T.D. Jakes this morning. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready, get ready get Get ready, get, get. Get, 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 get ready. Get ready. Get ready this morning. I said get ready. Grab your neighbor by the hand 
and tell them it was a setup. It, it, it was a setup. See, the whole time, it was a set. And you get set up to step up. I'm getting ready to overflow. I'm getting ready. I'm, did you all hear me? It was a setup. The fight is rigged. I showed up to tell you this morning, the fight is rigged. You ain't got to show up and fight. You just got to show up. God says, I'll fight your battles. Finish with that. We ain't going to need that no more. See, God got a way of changing things up. Open up your mouth and say, it's a change up. It's a change up. Come on, prophesy to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, it's a change. I see a shifting in the spirit. I see a changing in the spirit. It's a. Hallelujah. For every bad doctor's report, I prophesy in the name of Jesus. I speak to high blood pressure. I say, high blood pressure, regulate yourself. In the name, in the name, in the name, in the, in the, in the name of Jesus, I command your house to get back together. In the name of Jesus, I command your children to come back. In the name of Jesus, I command your vision. To be clear, in the name of Jesus, I command the favor of God to overtake you in the name of Jesus. Somebody say it was the blood. It was the blood. Somebody say the blood still works. The blood still works over 2,000 years ago when Jesus shed on Calvary, the blood still works the blood still works it's working it's working somebody shout somebody say it's working it, it's work it's working it, it, it's working it's working and we know all things work together for the good of them who love the Lord and who are called according to to him is working for you. Open up your mouth and say it's working for my good. Every situation is working for my good. I believe God just stepped into somebody's situation. I see God stepping in the fire with you. He ain't going to put the fire out. But he's going to do something even better. He's going to step into the fire with you. So somebody said God is the biggest stepper. He the biggest. He, he the biggest. He the biggest stepper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him shall not perish but shall have everlasting life. I speak against the deaf angel even over this city that there's going to be a divine reversal that he's going to see the blood of the lamb across this city. He's going to see the blood and he got to pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I prophesy right now to your dream, to your vision. It's not dead. I prophesy this is your third day. That is about to rise again. What you thought was dead, what you counted out, that is going to rise again. I say it's going to rise again. It's not over with. It ain't too late. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God bless you. 
That was your word this morning. That was your word. And if, if anybody want prayer, I dare not leave and not offer y'all prayer. If anybody wanted prayer for any situation, for anything, we just open, open the floor. If not, God bless you. All right. God bless y'all community. I love y'all. That's y'all word. God bless you.